Good morning. Morning. So the topic of this week's video is how to toss and tie your ropes. And it comes to you via the form of flashback because <laughs> I when, why that is. <laughs> when we did our opening scene yesterday, for some reason the sound didn't record. No. So I've been playing with the microphones <laughs> because we'd had a couple of comments that the sound was a little bit distorted. So I was trying to um, get the distortion, you know, out and. No, I think you turned them off. I think I turned them off instead. Won't be any so there won't, wouldn't no, have been any been distortion. Good. Yeah. But just talk about yesterday. Very proud of ourselves. We learned to paddleboard for the very first time. Yeah. <laughs> And actually, there's just been an instructor this morning, and I think we've done quite well because we've stood up straight away. Yeah, they didn't. So no. Oh well. I did manage to capture some footage of me lassoing the ropes within <laughs> the locks, so you'll be treated to that. And I, I thought it was really amazing, but Richard's seen it before. There was um, a man in a white water canoe. Just white water canoe, yeah, on um, his way to play in the in the weirs. And he flipped off of the. Um, Lock landing. <laughs> Did a somersault. Did a somersault. Yeah. And popped back up again. <laughs> that was pop. amazing. <laughs> Just popped. <laughs> so we oh. will um, take you back to yesterday's footage. Start off with a little cruise. Coming up to Runny Mead <laughs> and uh, tossing and tying your ropes. And it is hot. It's a hot one today. went through um, Shepperton Lock, good old Shepperton Lock again, and um, I was hoping to record <laughs> me um, lassoing yeah, lasso the rope, but um, there was a really nice man on the white boat that came and actually took the rope for me, so uh, I didn't manage to that time. But I'll little... get my way. <laughs> yeah, Please. he did Richards as well. Hey. Um, a little tip that I learned um, quite early on actually, and it was actually from one of the volunteers at Shepperton Lock was um, when you're on the bow um, he said oh do this and you won't get long arm he said to me that is what he said long arm I want my arms are stretchy <laughs> one's longer than the other um, is so it's around the sort of bollard if you like in the lock and then to put your rope around the cleat at the front and then basically sort of the boat if you like is taking the weight of, of yeah, the rope the on your arms. The rope, haven't you? The only thing you, you do have to be careful um, is fine if you're going up, really. If you're going down, is what can happen is the rope can come up and can lock on each other, which has happened to me before. Packing quite a few boats. Squeeze them all in. Just squeeze them all in. 100 grand's worth of damage. <laughs> Not on our boat. Uh, there was a narrow boat which is from the River Way, and we were talking about um, us going down there and how last year there was all that knotweed. And um, the guy just tells me that um, it's Japanese knotweed and it actually um, started from somebody dumping their fish tank in the <laughs> river way so just one fish tank and it's it's basically a really invasive weed and now that's caused all of that weed across the river way absolutely phenomenal can you say how much they're taking out oh is it 500 tons or something something like that yeah absolutely <laughs> that crazy. grows quick very very quick so yeah 
tank carnage well quieter about and it's been a roasting day today still hot. so this is um, a spare rope that we've got so Richard's going to be my boat in other words you're going to hold that end oh, okay <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll be down here then about this am I <laughs> so what I do when I'm on the front is I find the end I loop it one two three four five you can do more but that i just tend to do five and then i separate it so i've got two in this hand and three in this hand and then imagine i'm on the front of the boat i'm on the <laughs> bow this is where what i'm aiming for so when i throw i aim to throw past um, this would be obviously if we were coming up to the, and I was throwing from the left hand side, past the bollards, let's call it, um, <laughs> and hopefully it will loop over. So here we go. I should hope so. This is where I'm going to go miss wrong. That, I'm going to wet myself because it's literally that there. There we go. And then I will pull it in until it goes nice and tight on the cleat on the front. And then what I do you be my cleat, Richard. Yeah. Put your hand up. All right. And then I put it around the cleat to prevent long arm. Ah, uh, what arm? Long arm. Long arm. Have I got long arm then? How do you know if you get long arm? <laughs> I don't know. It's one longer than the other. <laughs> so as you can see, we're actually moored and there's um, tree stumps like bollards. We haven't moored like this, but um, this is called a lighterman's hitch and this is a really secure way of um, mooring to something like this, like a tree stump. Yeah, so you could do it if you couldn't take the rope back to the boat. Yeah. Because at the moment we're just round it and back to the boat yeah. on a cleat hitch. So you'd throw over and then this one goes round again. And then the spare comes underneath over it's difficult on a post and then it'll go back round that way underneath again over and then literally just round and that's it pull that Hang on, nowhere. Very tight. Oh yeah, you'd, that'd never come undone. Okay, so this is um, the T-stud on the front of our boat, on the bow. Um, it's not really a very big cleat, but this, it's not really, yeah, it, this is um, how you do a cleat hitch. So how we, yeah. Go over, back over that one. But because it's quite short, let's just shove it. And then this one, you twist under, and then, lock it off and if we pull it up that that would then lock off yeah it's the shape of this it's not very good for that no so um at a lock on a bollard i do just a basic hitch 
Um, but yeah, you should. You do one hitch. I do one hitch. I didn't realise Richard just told me that actually this is what can happen if you do just one hitch. So, so hitch you go round, round like that, and then you twist over twist. the road, put it across there, and pull. Yeah. And, and then you think, hey, jobs are good in, but if you watch it. You just, all I'm, this is the one that's the bow on the boat, yeah. and it's being pulled by another boat. And, and it will. It's gone. Yeah. Completely disappear. Oh, it will. So, Richard but, said what you should really do if you're going to use just a basic hitch is do a just double one. Just a hitch, yeah. A double one's normally a bit better, but. So, we'll do one straight off, push it down, pull it. Another one, push it in. <laughs> pull it it'll still turn but it will lock yeah so now look oh, that's not moving no so a d double hitch over will will lock in so i've just learned something new today as well a single hitch you may as well just throw the rope on the bank and hope someone will grab it <laughs> <laughs> right we'll do your half one again okay okay so that goes on remember this this one's to the boat right so we're, we're round Round one, turn over, pull, and that's you done. Yes. Yeah, but we showed you that one. Yeah. It all goes wrong. So right, it's, a, it's an easy one. So again, straight over, round one, yeah? Mm -hmm. And instead of putting your fold in like you did, yeah, go under the main one to create that loop, loop that over and pull. And that one will, and you can see, look, you can see them tightening on themselves. So did you see, it's just a simple, yeah. it's a really simple knot, because it's literally the, the spare loop underneath it, twist it straight over the top, and you're on. Jobs are good. Yeah. <laughs> So hopefully you found that tossing and tying useful. Um, there's loads of other ways to tie ropes and stuff. There's oh, hundreds. Hundreds of them. Yeah, we use a few others. Yeah, but I then... No, I don't. I've just discovered today. She just throws it around and goes, yeah, that ain't going nowhere. And Richard oh, does all oh, these no. fancy things and I never have done, so I've learnt today. Like the river way. <laughs> you have to tie up to the yellow bollard. Yeah. I've retied really them all. I didn't know that. Didn't yeah. tell me. Just easier to do you on with it. <laughs> anyway, like always, give us that cheeky little like, hit that subscribe button and ping the notification bell. And from a very sunny runny me. It's hot. Really warm. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.